For years, doctors have been performing bypass surgery by stopping the heart with the help of a heart-lung machine. But new medical devices now allow the heart to beat throughout the procedure. Today, more high-risk patients, such as those with prior stroke and other medical conditions, can undergo beating heart bypass surgery with a lower risk of complications. Patients that are at high risk for cardiac procedures in general will all have a certain amount of risk when subjected to the heart-lung machine. Uh, if the heart-lung machine, on the other hand, is avoided, I think that the complications in those types of patients are uh, improved. And I think the outcomes for women with coronary bypass uh, can be improved uh, when the procedure is done on the beating heart. Eliz Green is among the growing number of patients who have benefited from beating heart surgery. She had life-threatening heart problems during the pregnancy of her twins. Her condition made it unlikely that she would have survived a stopped heart procedure. The biggest gift that I received from being heart bypass is the fact that I was able to parent my children right away. 17 hours after surgery, I was able to leave the ICU in a wheelchair and go and visit my girls in the neonatal intensive care unit for the first time, something that would not have been possible without beating heart. A consensus statement from heart doctors recently published in the journal Innovations concludes that beating heart surgery should be considered a safe alternative to traditional surgery. Dr. John Puskas of Emory University authored the statement. After reviewing over 400 manuscripts that compared beating heart surgery and conventional bypass surgery, this consensus statement came to the conclusion that on almost all endpoints measured, off-pump patients came out ahead of the conventional bypass patients. And that was especially true if the patients that we we're discussing are high-risk or very ill patients. So nice to see you. I'm, so I'm Laura Wheelis.